Hi guys, thanks for joining and in this video we are talking about anamorph fake lenses and anamorphic adapters which are the advantages compared to normal or real anamorph lenses and what you should maybe pay attention to. Coming up! Hi guys, my name is Paul, I'm a German filmmaker and this channel is all about filmmaking gear reviews but also DaVinci Resolve tutorials so if you're interested in that um, yeah, I would really appreciate your support, so like and subscribe. So in this video, um, as I've already talked in one of my last video, which was whole about the idea shooting anamorphic with real anamorphic lenses, here I now have an anamorph fake lens, uh, which I will go on detail in a bit. But also I want to provide you that there are some anamorphic adapters. So both of these types are so to say the cheap way to um, to get the anamorphic look and we will start by the anamorphic adapters and here I have a special guest which is Justus he uh, used to be my first AC on a lot of shoots so if you want to have a great first AC in the German area just give him a call and it's your turn. Hi, today I want to talk about an anamorphic adapter setup. An anamorphic adapter setup is an old projector lens combined with a taking lens. The benefit is you can change all these elements inside the anamorphic adapter setup. So you can create some amazing footage with some creative freedom. In my opinion, it's just a toy and you can't really use it on some commercial work. I love my adapter setup because you can achieve more visual impact on your footage. So thanks Justus for your input uh, on this one really appreciate it and now we are talking about the anamorph fake lenses uh, what is an anamorph fake lens an anamorph fake lens is basically a sp normal spherical lens and it has like this element which shapes the bokeh or the bokeh and it also has this uh, special horizontal flare thanks to iron glass they sent me this helios 44 which is especially modded for that reason i also have here the normal helios 44 which i bought from them i think a year ago and I love it. Uh, I really like what the guys do uh, with modding these lenses and make yeah, de-clicking uh, the aperture and all these focus gears so really enjoy shooting on them and therefore I also compared it to that. So first of all you can choose what color you want to have. I decided to get the orange look and you get these very kind of strong flare but you also can get it in blue and you have here on the end you can see it um, there's an element inside which makes the yeah which should provide this oval bouquet and as you can see it certainly does but only if you are wide open and but then also you see kind of this uh, little fishing line in the bouquet so I think the bouquet is not so nice like a real anamorphic lens but it's getting there. If you stop down to maybe an f4 or something like that you lose that kind of bokeh and at this point the thing is wide open these lenses, and these lenses aren't too sharp so I mostly use them around uh, an f4 because at that point they are pretty good pretty usable i think but anyway i think this is a really good customizable option here and it's also really small i also noticed uh, compared to the normal helios that this one is about one and a half steps darker because they implemented this element here which provides these uh, oval oval shape but overall i think still if you go for real anamorphic lenses this is probably the better way but overall this is a really cost effective solution and I think the normal people won't notice it anyway so therefore if you are on a tight budget I think it's a really great, great option but anyway I can highly recommend um, Iron Glass they have a huge variety of uh, Russian vintage lenses I have a whole video about vintage lenses so I really love vintage lenses and I bought a couple of them from iron glass so i'm really happy with them yeah so to say i think it definitely always depends on the project and on the budget i hope this video was helpful to you and if it did so please hit that like button subscribe and in my upcoming video i will talk about photo lenses so normal lenses versus cine lenses what is the difference why you should use one over the other and so on so stay tuned for that cheers